Okay, so um, my last video, I talked about using this um, this new folder from Creative Memories. It's not a new product, but it's new to me to sort this collection, this Countryside Comfort collection. And I told you that this is part of a home-like um, kit that I was putting together for when we move in the next couple months. So a little bit of background on that. Um, I have been living for three years um, in a different city to go to law school and I just graduated. So we are moving back home and I own the house there. And so we are thrilled to move back home. And it's a house that was built in 1925. So I had previously done some work on it, but then we moved and I rented it out. It, um, I still wanna add some, some of my personality to it. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of work and artistic stuff to it. I'm thrilled. I love home renovation stuff. My husband is less than thrilled, um, but he likes yard work, so it'll all be okay. He can do that and I can stay inside. <laughs> okay, so in addition to this um, Countryside Comfort collection, I have a I have a large folder here of other stuff that I've collected um, for this kit. So the first thing I want to mention is I have this giant Ziploc bag. Not Ziploc brand, but you know what I mean. It has this kind of top on it. So I found out about these bags from the channel RTS Scrapbooking. So if you don't follow her, I would highly suggest it. She's a blast to watch. I literally will just turn on her channel and just listen to it in the background while I'm scrapbooking because she's so spunky and fun. And I just, I just love watching her channel. So she um, turned me on to these bags. These come from the Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree around you, I think that they are exclusive to them as far as I understand. I believe that this may be their brand, their, their store brand. So these are three large bags and they're meant to hold their storage bags. They're meant to hold stuff for, you know, in your closet or shoes, they'd be perfect for like, you know, if you were on vacation or something, you want to put your shoes in a bag and, and not get your other stuff dirty. They'd be perfect for that. So this is what the box looks like. This is what you'd be looking for. Now Dollar Tree is a true dollar store. As far as I under, understand, I've never seen anything in there that's over a dollar, maybe slightly, but it's, it's not one of the dollar stores that has five, six, seven dollar stuff that I've ever seen. Um, so these are 15 inches by 15 inches, if you can see that. So they are large enough to hold any of your 12 by 12 stuff, including these power project folders. So these power project folders are probably like 13 by 13, maybe 13 by 14 because these tabs on the top. So this actually fits in there too, um, which I think is handy dandy. They're also not as thin as your typical sandwich bag. They're pretty sturdy. So I'm going to plan on reusing these multiple times. Um, but anyway, so I ran to my local Dollar Tree hoping but not counting on them actually having these in stock. And lo and behold, they had seven on the shelf. And so I bought all seven and they probably thought I was insane. But they were only $7 plus tax. So I snagged some of these and I think I'm going to get a ton of use out of this stuff. So I highly recommend these. I would not buy them on Amazon if I were you. Someone has caught on to this and has bought a bunch and is selling them on Amazon for like five, six dollars a box, which is a, a serious ripoff. You can get them for just a dollar. Okay, so I want to show you some of the things that I have in here and I'll do some other little mini product reviews of stuff within this also. Um, so as I mentioned before, I would say about half of my scrapbooking supplies are from Creative Memories. So I am a Creative Memories consultant. I don't actively sell a whole lot of stuff. I really only signed up for that for my own benefit because I buy enough personally where I can at least um, get 10% off and sometimes 25% off the product um, sent back to me. So I do it for my own benefit. I will list my advisor link. So if anyone isn't an advisor of Creative Memories and wants to be, or if you want to buy product from Creative Memories, you, you always buy it under an advisor. Um, it will assign you one based on your zip code, I believe. If, if you don't have someone you know. But I will list my link below in case you want to buy some things and want to support me. I would certainly appreciate that. It helps me out quite a bit. So the first couple things I have here, I'll split up by brand. So this is some old Creative Memory stuff. This is um, some embellishments, some black and white embellishments. They don't have this in stock any longer. But I did that. So 
the theme with this is black and white and then some blues and teals and things like this. So these are also some creative memories. If I remember this, this is the pine cone gathered together stuff that I put in there. I'm gonna take this aside because this is its own collection. Now I went through my sticker box that you saw in the last video and I went through and pulled out a whole bunch of stickers that I had from Creative Memories um, from many years ago. I've actually, I'm so I'm 28 years old, but I have been scrapbooking for 20 years. Um, I started going with my mom when I was very young and immediately took to it. So I always love seeing people's expressions when they're like, oh, who's scrapbook 20 years or more? And I'm like, me, and I'm the youngest person in the room. Um, but that's just kind of, I just took it to it immediately and it is absolutely my favorite hobby. I have far too much stuff as my husband would explain, but um, I really, really love it. So I have some of this stuff that's quite old, but I just took out anything that I thought was home related. So I mentioned my husband loves yard work, so I'm sure I'll get some pictures of him doing yard work. Um, I like, you know, to have flower beds, so this stuff is gonna tie in with that well. We're gonna do a lot of painting when we get back. Um, my dad is a phenomenal woodworker He's gonna build us some tables and stuff for our living room. So that's gonna go in there as well. So I have all that. This is just some other stuff like this, you know, from different Creative Memories collections that, so this is actually a winter collection, but there's no reason why I can't, this fits in my color scheme exactly, this teal and blue. So there's no reason why I can't use this, even though if you saw one of these pieces isolated, I don't think that you would think that it was winter, except for the snowflake, um, but this tea bag, that has a snowflake on it too. You could cover that up with something else. Um, these are these trees are probably pretty winter looking, but I can absolutely use this for something other than winter. And I think that's something that I've been told multiple times and it took a while to sink in, but I think it's so important to share with people who may be still struggling with that is don't be locked in to the theme of a collection. You can use it for other things, absolutely. And don't be afraid to try to do that. Okay, so here's one of my favorite collections this is not Creative Memories. Um, this is from Cartabella. This is the Home Again collection. And this is what set off this whole kit for me because I saw this collection. This is the sticker page that goes with it. And I was like, that's it. That's totally my kind of color scheme. So my house is a, like I said, it's a 1925 um, colonial styled white um, two-story home with columns. And it just fits this kind of you know, black and white and blue theme. And I just thought it looked really nice. I also have a huge magnolia tree out front. And so there's some magnolia um, theme and this stuff like these over here. And, and so I just was like, oh, that's just ideal. So I'll flip through these pages real quick for what they included with this paper pack. You can see a lot of black and white. And like I said, I'll do a full review of this stuff later. So it's some kitchen stuff. Some leaves, I love leaves, love leaves. So that's super important to me to have some leaf stuff. This I thought was funny. This is not a Land Cruiser, but I have a green Land Cruiser. And so I thought that was funny because it could kind of match that. Okay, so I have all these and I love those. And I, like I mentioned, I have the enamel dots to match that enamel dots, something that I don't use very often, but I want to get more into and then the ephemera for that also. And then I also bought their snow collection. So this is also Cartabella. And the reason I got this we don't get much snow in Tennessee, unfortunately, but every once in a while, um, there's a lot of good winter stuff in here that's winter theme versus Christmas. So I have plenty of Christmas themed things. I don't need much more of that, but I do enjoy having winter themed. We like to go skiing and stuff. So I think that would be good, not only for the home collection, but for other, other things also. And I bought the enamel dots for this as well to go with that snow collection. You'll notice that a lot of these are very similar to the enamel dots for the home again collection. As a matter of fact, I think two or three of them are actually duplicate colors, which is fine with me. I actually kind of like that, um, but they tie together just so well. So how do you get that? Then I have a bunch of just random paper, you know, that I bought. This I got from scrapbook.com. I literally just went through and looked for things that I thought matched my theme and design. So I think this looks kind of similar to my house. I have double sun porches on my house. Um, so I thought that looked kind of similar. This one kind of does too down here. But I just thought that would tie in really well. I mentioned I like leaves a lot. This is actually from that same homemade collection. I just bought some separate pages. There's another. This is um 
Maggie Holmes. There's another one. This is Heritage. So I mean, I told you my house is very old, and so I am a huge um, fan of antique furniture and antique style. And so anything that looks vintage like this, I think, is really pretty. So I definitely grab some of that. Okay. This is all graphic uh, graphic forty five. Excuse me. This is the artisan style collection. So I'm a big plant, a big fan of um, the arts and crafts design, which you can Google. It's if you aren't familiar, it's a style of home design and architecture and um, style from the 20s and 30s era. And this Graphic 45, I love their stuff. A lot of times I have trouble using it because it's, it's so much going on in it. But I think I can use this in strips and things. And this one, this collection just really resonated with me because it's so my style. Um, I love green and orange. Those are my two favorite colors. And this just matched my house. Style very well. I'm actually doing an arts and crafts and art deco design in my house. So I thought this would be really perfect to complement some of that. And you see some of the blues that match some of the other pieces that I got. So there's some, some simple backgrounds on some of this. Um, but it's just really lovely. This is a beautiful page. This is one of the things where it's like, how do you cover this up, you know? This is art. <laughs> I just don't know how I'm going to possibly use this for a page. Maybe just cut the strips off the side. Maybe fussy cut the doorway out and use it on a on the corner of a page, perhaps. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Nice back, though, too. This beautiful type of print that is very indicative of the arts and crafts style. So I love that. Okay. This is just some more... Um, other paper that I bought. This this stuff right here that I'm going through is actually a hot buy um, packet or I don't know what you call it a set I guess from um, from Michaels. So this just fit in once again with that style. This is I think called Farmhouse. <sighs> Funny story about this. I bought this during um, during the COVID stuff that was going on, and so I went the first day that they reopened. It said they had one on stock, on stock online, and so I literally, if you ever looked for hot buy um, paper packs, they, at least where I'm at, they don't organize them in any form or fashion. So it said they had at least one in stock, and lo and behold, they had one, only one, in stock. And so I literally sat on the floor by that hot buys display for probably an hour, combing through all of their stuff, trying to find this. But I did find it. I was successful. I was very happy to get it because otherwise it would have been a wasted trip. Some kitchen stuff. We just redid the kitchen. I had a renter move out last summer and a new one move in. And so I redid the kitchen in between in between that just the way I wanted it because I knew we were going to be moving back this year. So definitely want to have some pages about my kitchen. These are always good to have just as background and things. Okay, so get through all of that. These are simple backgrounds, more of this black and white. Um, this is from Michael's from years ago. This came in some kind of a pack. I pulled these out because I mentioned I had that big magnolia tree in the front yard. I cannot tell you where these came from. Um, they're many, many years old. But I, I, this is one of the things where I just couldn't bring myself to ever use it because I loved it so much. But this is going to be the perfect opportunity to use it and fit in with um, this album perfectly. So I have no excuse anymore to use these. They're just going to be ideal. Okay. So these are a couple of creative memories pages that are mixed in with this. These may be from this countryside comfort design. I'll have to look at that and see if I can incorporate them in this, um, quest, or, uh, um, envelope thing that I got from creative memories to sort paper. Just a few more. These are actually cricket paper. I believe this is at least. From Cricut. If you never bought paper from Cricut, Cricut.com, they have some killer sales, especially if you actually use Cricut and are a design space member. Um, they have some incredible paper sales. And that paper is really good quality. It's quite thick. If you're a fan of thick paper, this is cardstock, thin cardstock level paper. Um, and they have some really good designs. And it is so cheap sometimes. You can get it on really good sales. And it is just there's just nothing that inexpensive anywhere else that I found. So I'm super impressed with 
a lot of the paper that I've gotten from Cricut. Okay, so the last things I have are just some other simple background type papers. I have a, I went to a um, crop for a Creative Memories crop and got this um, project recipe. So I never actually built it, but I thought this would be perfect for when I moved. This has tiny little mason jars and stuff in it. So I'm gonna use that for a kitchen. I think the last thing I have is a few different small packs of paper that I got from Creative Memories specifically to use with um, this album. So I have a locally grown, we're, I say we, my husband is the outdoor, um, well, we're both outdoorsy, but he's the gardener, yard work person. He likes to grow food, tomatoes. Um, we have collard greens this year. So I thought this would be good for showing off some of the gardening stuff that we'll be doing, especially since we're moving back home closer to my parents. They're also big into gardening, particularly my mom. So I anticipate this will get some good use. This Memoirs and Memories one um, ties in with that vintage antique feel that I was talking about. So I think this will go well with showing off some of the more antique furniture um, pictures. So this is, this. these all might go together. This is the Spring Medley collection, which is gorgeous. Um, try to get that shine off there. So this is a designer paper pack and this is the Tone on Tone paper pack. And Creative Memories often comes out with sets like this where you can get this one with all the designs on it. So this has all the flowers. This is like a paint splatter type look. Clouds with um, date, uh, like a, what are the ones you blow on for, you wish on, da not daffodils. Oh, oh, can't think of it. Um, this is some leaves. <laughs> Comment down below what, you, what those are, cause I can't remember. <laughs> and then, oops. This is the tone on tone. So this just goes perfectly, matches those colors in this one. But this is just more simple design. So background paper, love this, you know, check gingham type. You know, I'm not sure exactly the right term for this. Um, but just really good, easy background things for either the background of your page overall or the background for a border, for example. And then this is the stickers that go with that. So I just love this collection. I think I think everyone did. It was just so beautiful. This uh, set had this home sweet home in it in the same colors that I'm using. So like the dark navy, black, and blue. And so I was just like, oh, that's perfect. I mean, these are just gorgeous, these flowers and things. So this does cater to spring. So I I may may use this in this set in this, a springtime page where I may use this in something else later. Because once I use this kit, I'll, of course, end up breaking it down later and taking what I don't use for that album and using it for other things. So this is just gorgeous. So those are in there. And then I also have another project recipe um, kit that I got from a Creative Memories. I guess I ordered this off the on, on off the website um, as an advisor. I don't think this is available just to anybody. But so another, I saw these colors. And I was like, oh, that'll be perfect. Um, so I'm going to use that also. So that's some of the things for that album. As I work on that album, I will be very excited to share um, how that goes. And I will be showing you some pages that come come from that and some design ideas that I'm going to use to to make that album. So I look forward to sharing that with you in the future. Thank you. Bye.